All right. All right, guys. I know I'm late. I know I'm running late, but I'm glad to see you guys already waiting, ready to romp for this epic freaking mail day. I got so much mail. It's absolutely ridiculous right now. I cannot believe that I have so much. Guys, appreciate y'all hanging out in the chat as we wait for my slow butt to catch up. But we got Zuku, Pokeballers. What is going on, Nicole? Lucky Luke. We got Toxic Crow. We got Sauce, Poke Red, Realism. You guys are honestly MVPs. We got my sister hanging out, who, by the way, made me these freaking shirt. You know how you guys like how I like to rock my uh, Pokemon jingle? So she got me a Geodude, Geodude, follows me everywhere shirt. So shout out to my sister for that. We got the Rob Mom in the chat. We got Unknown Rockfish. We got Roach Retro Poke again. We got Slushy. Slushy is a freaking OG, guys. OG from when I first started my channel. So shout out, Slushy. We got Pokemon Legends. Yo, you guys are freaking awesome hope you guys are having a good day let me go ahead and pop some music in the stream by the way that way uh if you guys want to jam out we're gonna jam out and open up some freaking mail first of all i want you guys you know what i was gonna go ahead and see which guy which package you guys want me open to but i see toxicroak in here and toxicroak is one of them dudes that sent me a package so shout out to toxicroak in the chat real quick and uh i'm gonna go ahead and start off with his first because some of that stuff that he sent me, it's spicy, guys. We made a great trade, and Toxicroak Dunn went ahead and sent me some spicy, spicy stuff. So I'm excited, man. I'm excited to go ahead and open this up for Mr. Toxicroak himself. Shout out to him. Catch up. What's going on? Dave, what's up, dude? What's going on, guys? Yeah, I can finally say first. <laughs> got a bunch of Rob mobs in the chat. We got Sauce McGavin talking about being on the PokerCast this week on Saturday, which is very, very true. But yeah, guys, so I got my uh, scissors with me because, like, I'm not going to try to rip open these bubble wrap packages and boxes, uh, you know, with my fingers. Although my fingers sometimes are like razor blades. Let's toss that off to the side. So how's everyone do doing today? Everyone doing good? Everyone having a great day? You guys enjoying your night, afternoon, maybe morning for some of y'all? Let me know in the chat how everyone is doing on this fine fine day all right so it looks like toxic hooked it up with the tabs a little bit which got a little pull there all right shout out toxic i hear you man i always have trouble finding those things i don't know why maybe because i just don't pay attention to them and i just want to rip into the package as fast as possible uh hey man i'm from the uk and love the content bro poker red dude i appreciate it, man i appreciate it. we are we are uh trying for sure to provide you guys with the best content ever and honestly that means the world to me dude you just saying that and uh, it gives me that motivation to keep doing this stuff. So I really appreciate it. By the way, guys, I want you guys to guess what you pot potentially think Toxicroak sent me. I want to see some guesses in the chat. What do you guys think Toxicroak sent me? Let's start off. Yeah, this way. Dude, you wrapped this thing. Nice, man. You wrapped it nice. It is pristine, clean. Pristine, clean, money-making machine. Hey, let me know how the music is in the chat, by the way, because, like, I'm not trying to be overbearing with the music. So if y'all want to let me know. Dude, Toxicroak, man. Everybody, let's get a hand clap for Toxicroak in the chat for properly wrapping up this freaking, this card, man. Shout out, Toxicroak. Shiny Zard. <laughs> Charizard, of course. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. That's not what he sent us. That's not what he sent us. Good guesses, though, right? Uh, there's only one retro poker game that would say something like that. But by the way, me and Toxicroak did trade for this stuff. So we did trade for this stuff. I sent him some nice things. If you guys want to check out that video that he did with my package, definitely check out Toxicroak Gaming and uh, see what he got. Yizzy, JD Stay, what's going on, guys? What's going on? Unknown Rock for sure, Legend. Dude, Unknown, I appreciate them. I really, 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 really do. Um, I really do appreciate that. But uh, yeah, so what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Pokeballers, yo Rob, what is good? What's going on, Pokeballers? What is going on? Glad to see you guys hanging out on the uh, live stream with me today. We got Johto Johnny popping in. We got Pokemon Hollow. Open that hit at Fate TV. No, 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 no. We're not gonna get that crazy today. So, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? I got Charizards. All right, all right. Let's go with it. Let's go with it. So, of course, we're gonna get shout out stamped signature card, Tax Scroll Gaming 2020. That is a spicy, spicy signature. Ooh, and he did me the favor of putting these cards backwards. That way it's kind of, uh... Ooh, here we go. Okay, what do you guys think? 
What do you guys think? Guess the card. Hold on, maybe we'll show off. Uh, oh, wait, there it is. What do you guys think? What do you think Mr. Toxic Rogue Dunn went ahead and sent us? Sell that ETB for the Willy Wonka candy. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, vintage cards? No, not vintage, not vintage. Not from Toxico. Gold Trainer, good guess, good guess. What was the trade? I'm gonna show you, man, yeah, impatient. Guess in the chat, guess in the chat. It's a gold tapu, maybe Lele. Ooh, we're getting warmer. We're getting warmer. I'm gonna go with slush. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. Boom! So we got a Tapu Coco from Mr. Toxic Croak himself. Shout out, dude. Thank you so much. It is a pristine, pristine card. As you guys know, this is one card I needed from my for my Hidden Fates master set. And by the way, yo, these top loaders, man, they're they're nice with that black edge. These things are crisp. Clean, clean top loaders. I like them a lot, dude. You gotta let me know where you got these. So we got a tap of Coco, and then we got our Haunter. So if you guys don't know, NC Packbuster sent me mail on my last like big mail day video, and he forgot to give me a reverse Haunter. He gave me a reverse Gengar instead. But Toxic Coke went ahead and was like, dude, I got you. Let me send you the hookups. So yeah, so we got Haunter and Tapu Coco Gold from Hidden Fates. We needed that stuff, Rob Mob, and we got it. We got it. So thank you, Toxic Croak. I appreciate that. I know the mail's been sitting around my house for like the last month or so. But yeah, dude, that was super, super nice to you. All right. So do you guys want to see a box opened or do you guys want to see another ba bubble mailer opened? What do you guys want to see? Collectionista, what's going on? Toxic Croak is a G, like for real, for real. He is, he is. He hooked it up. He hooked it up. Trainer Leo, I thought you finished your hidden face. I didn't. I didn't because I don't have the Charizard. But I did finish Hidden Fates, and I was kind of giving stuff spoilers away. This is there's there's cards in here that's gonna finish my Hidden Fates set basically. So it's gonna be in there. It's gonna complete my Hidden Fates stuff, except for as we know Charizard because he's just he's just that dude that just doesn't want to be pulled. And I promise to pull him. I'm gonna stay by my word. We'll see. We'll see. All right, what do we got? We got Bubble. Dude, I pulled the Sun Dark Charge. Did you? Nice, dude. How long ago did you pull it? Did you pull it recently? Did you pull it back in the heyday? And do you still have it? Thinking of sending you a mystery pack. Slushy, dude, you don't have to, man. You honestly don't have to. Um, I've I've, get, I've gotten plenty of mail, man. But uh, yeah, shout out Slushy, by the way, man. That is a uh, OG right there from way back when I first started my channel. Corey, what's going on, dude? I feel you have... A char sitting in a box in my garage somewhere. You probably do, man. You got to go ahead and check that stuff out. All right, so next package here. This one, if you guys don't know, is coming from Shivam. Uh, he has a pretty big Instagram. And he had his buddy, Jordan Fringe, who you guys probably know who that is, on there. And they were doing like an auction-style uh, sell-off with some of Jordan's cards. As you know, Jordan stopped really doing Poketubing on YouTube. He went towards the film route and he's actually trying to raise money by selling some of his cards for a movie he's going to be coming out with or plans on working on. So uh, they did an auction style Instagram. I was part of that auction and I got some Hidden Fates cards that uh, was hosted by Shibam, of course. And I got some Hidden Fates cards that I needed for my master set. So courtesy of Shivam hosting the auction and Jordan Fringe for pulling these cards so I can have one day unexpectedly. So, here we are. DNA, what's going on, dude? DNA, popping into the live stream. It was a little bit longer. Okay, nice, nice. Actually, uh, unknown, if you don't follow uh, Golden Wardle, check him out. He just pulled a first edition card, and you guys might want to check it out. It's pretty freaking savvy. So, definitely check it out. It is a big time card, and uh, yeah, it's good. It's good stuff. If you guys like big time cards, big bowls, that's something to definitely check out. I still have the Dark Charger, but I pulled a little bit long ago. Nice, dude. Nice. What kind of grade is it in? Is it in good shape? Is it played shape? Uh, Jordan, I was a fan of the other guy. It's better stay quiet if you have nothing nice to say. <laughs> uh, Rob, will you turn your Ultra Ball on the second shelf? It's bugging me. Second shelf, Ultra Ball. Oh, all right. Oh, why don't we turn on my Pikachu, too, while we're at it? Let's turn on the old Pikachu. But I like when it switch, switches lights. That's a little bit too fast. Yeah. Charmeleon just went down. And Ultra Ball. 
Thank you for that. We try to keep it nice, crisp, and clean back there. Uh, wait, Golden pulled the first edition card. Yeah, dude, you gotta, you gotta check it out. He posted it at 3 p.m. I actually found out about it the other day, but uh, I still haven't watched this video yet. I will. I've been busy. I got a, I got a pack battle video coming out tomorrow, which I'm gonna do, and uh, I was editing that and thumbnails and then setting this up. So it's been a, it's been a busy day for me. It's been a busy day. All right, guys. So here we are. Uh, Polish Rob is the best Pokemon friend I have. Little Cor, oh, dude. Little Cor is a freaking sweetheart. Him and uh, Ari are just both sweethearts. Gold pull! <laughs> yeah. Haha, <laughs> uh -huh, OCD. All right, guys. Here we go. So we are going to have... We're going to do it this way. Hey, there we go. So we got Thank You Rob, signed by the man, the myth, the met legend, Jordan Fringe. So we got a nice, personally autographed card by Jordan Fringe. And let me use this card to kind of cover it up. All right, guys. Guess that Pokemon. Who is that? What card did we get in this mail day from Jordan Fringe? What do you guys think? Uh, it's great condition. It's like a PSA 9 grade. Ooh, that's nice. That PSA 9 in the Dark Charizard, I believe, is going in close to that $1,000 range, if not right below. I know that 10 is fetching around 2000 to 3000 depending on the day. Uh, but PSA 9, man, that's nice. Uh, we got a shiny Taco Bell. Rob Lee Hunt for all the amazing rares on the channel. Unfortunately, I went in on Champion's Path so bad that I've decided that I'm going to take a backseat on Vivid Voltage. Um, and then I'm going to save that some of those monies and go in for whatever set it's going to be for the 25th anniversary. So I would love to hunt for the Amazing Rares. I will open some booster packs and some, you know, blisters and whatnot. But it won't be anything near to what I have in Champion's Path. I just can't really do it right now. Uh, we got a Stack Attack at GX. There it is. Toxicroak. There it is. Stack Attack at GX. Yes. I could not pull this card for life of me. I probably have it in one of those bunch of boxes I just recently got. But, uh, yeah, you know, it is what it is. It went to a good cause from a good individual. And, uh, yeah, we needed that card. So, shout out Jordan for sending us that. All right, so next card. How do I want to do this? Is what? All right, I know how to do this. We're going to do it like, like so. All right, guys. So, Stack Attack, who said that right? All right, Toxicroak said it. Shout out, Toxicroak. All right, here we go. So, this is the next card. This is also from Hidden Fates. What do you guys think this card is? Let's get some guesses. Cynthia, no, no, no. I said Shiny Taco Bell in a live stream when I was when I was this card. I must have lost my mind. <laughs> we got Espeon. Ooh, we got a Reshiram. Nope. You guys, come on. I guess DNA Pokemon. I must have missed that part of the chat. I look, my name is Jordan, so I'm looking up a lot. <laughs> All right. Yeah, um, Jordan Fringe, if you don't know, catch him. I mean, I'm sure you know who Jordan Fringe is. Jordan Fringe is pretty popular. Ooh, Slushy, Ding Ding. Ooh, JD State. All right, there you go. Nice, nice. Zygarde uh, by Collectionista as well. And Pokeballers. Dude, you guys are killing it right now. Nice. Yep, we got a Zygarde from Hidden Fates as well. Needed that. And uh, we are getting one step closer to that master set, guys. One step closer as you know except for the czar all right here we go how am i gonna do this without mixing it up boom all right i like that all right here's the last card that i purchased what do you guys think that's all i'm giving away what do we have over here what card did we get oh we got a leafy on major crusader yo what's going on dude welcome to the live stream we're hanging out we are opening some of the mail that i got we are guessing some of the cards that i have Trying to get a little interesting. Yizzy Espeon, dude. I think he said Espeon every single time. Yizzy did know that we got a Espeon, guys. So we purchased this card. It's the last evolution that I could not pull from this set. I pulled multiple Umbreons. Pulled multiple Sylveons. I just couldn't get my hands on this Espeon. So we ended up getting it from the auction. And I am super, super happy with this quality. It looks dang near perfect. Maybe a little top heavy. But for me, it doesn't matter because it's going to be a binder card anyway for my master set. So I am super, super happy with Espeon. If I pull an Espeon from one of the Hidden Fates things I have back there, I still won't be mad just to have this card. At least I can say my master set is that much closer to being done minus the old Zard. So Simple Nub, what's going on Simple Nub? Glad to have you over here, man. Also, I'm also named Rob. Man, that's a good thing to have. That's a good name. So we've got a couple Robs in here. We got a Jordan in here. We got a Yizzy in here. <laughs> so nice, dude. All right, guys, what do you think? Another bubble mailer or do we get into a box? 
Small box, big box, bubble mailer, big bubble mailer. What do you guys think? Mike Yanger, what is going? Mike Yarger, what is going on? Let me go ahead and say that quick. I don't want to go ahead and mispronounce any names. All right, we got a box by Collectionista. Do you want a big box, a small box, a medium-sized box, large box, small box, big box? <laughs> what do you think, guys? How do you pull a shiny swabble? No joke. How? <laughs> I don't know. Did you not have you not pulled a uh, swabble yet? A baby shiny? Uh, big box. All right. Hello, guys. Uh, <laughs> What's up, lucky dude? Small box. Bigger the better. Pulls bra. Why well, you got it right, my guy? Nobody ever gets it right. <laughs> I'm glad I had to look at it twice. I thought the N, the R mixed it with the G a little bit where my like laptop or my computer screen is, and uh, I have to get it together. It sounds like Dr. Seuss. A wild Rob appears. All right. So I think we're gonna go small box. We got small box transparent box good thing they are transparent boxes because everybody would try to go ahead and take the content inside so this is a little interesting I don't really think that you guys are gonna get what this is inside here I don't think you are it's uh I hope it's exactly what I think it is too it might not be I'm get only guessing at this one I know I was getting it but you know uh, we got what do we got wild rob here transparent box we got cookies what's going on cookies that, okay, it's exactly what I think it is. All right, here we go, guys. I'm gonna give you a little, little sneak. What do we got? What do we got? Any guesses? Any guesses as to what this might be? Some of y'all might know. Some of y'all might know. Guess what, Rob? What is going on, Ketchum? What do we got? What do we got? What am I guessing here? Chicken butt. Guess what? Chicken butt. Shining Legend. It's an OG Furby. Still have not done much homework. <laughs> oh my bad, Evan. I'm keeping you away from your homework with the live stream. I never push record when I open my Champions Path ETB. No, dude, that is like the the uh, number one thing with like PokeTubing or doing you know YouTube in general. I make sure I hit it and I just let it run for sometimes. You know, I just let it sit there and run because I don't want to be. I don't want. I made my, that mistake before and I've learned how to stay away from doing it. We got something. Hold on, Realizum Hot Chip. Yeah, dude, good one. Dang, man. Let's go. Yeah, so we got... This is coming from the Golden Wardle, also known as Adam. He uh, he went to the store, and he was showing me some Poker product. And then in the background, I saw the One Chip Challenge, like, in his grocery store. I was like, dude, you got to get that for me. I need to do it on the channel. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet or what I'm going to do it with yet, with what packs or what style. But, yeah, we got the One Chip Challenge, so... We will eventually be doing this, so I hope you guys are excited. This is just future content to come, and I've never done it before, so I'm going to be a first-timer when it comes to this. Now, I do like spicy stuff. I do pretty well with spicy stuff, I think. Uh, I've never done this, so I think it's going to be pretty good. There it is, Pocky One Chip Challenge. I'm going to add that to my Pokemail day because it's going to be Pokemon-related, YouTube channel-related, so, you know. I learned my lesson for sure. Yeah, that's uh, it's a hard lesson to learn, but you eventually, uh, you eventually get used to it. Selling like crazy on eBay, are they really? Yeah, when he sent me that picture at the grocery store, now I don't know which grocery store it was, but there was a ton of them. So I was like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta get it. What is that? Catch him. So what it is is basically it's made by the company pocky they also make regular chips now you can find at the stores uh at your like local walmart's and whatnot as well and then uh it's supposed to be made with the ghost pepper or no carolina peeper carolina peeper carolina reaper and the shishuan heat and it's supposed to be one of the hottest chips if not the hottest chip in the world and it's supposed to really kick your butt so we're gonna see if it kicks my butt Potentially Chelsea's butt, too. Yes, Trainer Leo, with Chelsea. Yeah, that's why we got two. So we're going to go ahead and feature her for a video here. Or maybe a live. We'll see. I don't know if... Uh, <laughs> I don't know with the one chip if we can keep it too, too PG rated. So we'll see. Video maybe. Maybe we'll do it live. Who knows? We'll see. I asked him for one, too. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, sorry, Rob. I didn't know what it was till you explained it. Yeah, no big deal, man. I don't mind explaining things. I don't mind it. I have a big chippy bag with California Reapers. It's spicy, but not very. I don't know, Pokemon Hollow. I don't know, man. Them things will, will, will kick your butt. All right, so this I'm opening. Okay, so this is coming from my friend, Pokefied. 
Pokefied, actually, all right, let me tell you guys a story. So Pokefied has a channel. One of the ones that actually got me into YouTube as far as like, there was a point in my YouTube career where I was very close to calling it quits. And Pokefied presented a Sword and Shield kind of style tournament right when March Madness uh, ended for basketball and COVID started. And he got a bunch of great guys together and it kind of rejuvenated my wanting to do videos and, and content and not quit, right? So shout out to Pokefy for doing that. And then Pokefy ran into some trouble uh, financially because of COVID and had to stop doing a lot of content. And anyways, he's been slowly getting back into it, which is nice because I never wanted to see anybody quit, especially since he's one of those guys that really helped me out a lot as far as, you know, motivating me to get back into it. And he did a giveaway and no one really did enter this giveaway. And these weren't really giveaway winnings. There was nobody that won his giveaway or really tried, which is very sad to see. So if you guys want, definitely go to show Pokefy some love. But we made a trade. I was like, if no one wins that giveaway, no one really enters, I'll trade for those cards because I need them for my Hidden Fates Master Set. So he was nice enough to go ahead and make a trade with me. And he said, send me whatever you want, dude. So we made a trade. I sent him a bunch of cards, and this is what I got in return. So shout out Pokefy for that. He's a, he's a real, real MVP. What do we got? We got Sunoco on 510 Fight Tool. Had them like a week or so ago. Nice. They probably sold out fast then. You got cojones. <laughs> Hopefully. We'll see. That chip is stronger than Taco Bell. Woo. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. All right, guys. What do you guys think? Let me give another little, little preview. You know, I don't want to give out the numbers really. There it is. What do you guys think? Give me some guesses out there. What do you guys think this card is? I like this game. I like this game. I like to see and test everybody's poker knowledge in here. Our champion's path luck is so bad. Dude, Slushy absolutely freaking killing it today. Yeah, dude, there it is. Mount Coronet. We needed that. My last gold card that I needed uh, as far as the trainers go. So, Mount Coronet. Ooh, JD close with the Aether. We got Rillazoom with the Mount Coronet. We got DNA against the Strong Punishment. And Rillazoom with the Double Mount Coronet. But yeah, we needed that and we got it. Henry, small openings. What is going on, my dude? We're going so, uh, over some of my mail that we got. Now, this card, I don't really remember what that was. What was that? Oh, dang. See, this is unexpected. I was expecting just to get the Mount Cornet. Dang, shout out Pokefine. Sent us a fossil. Raichu, nice, dude. That's actually really minty. Like, really good condition. Like, there's a little little ding on that corner, but other than that, it's freaking fire, dude. Pokefy, if you if you tune in the live stream later, dude, I appreciate it, man. That was awesome of you, and not needed at all. Dang, dude, that's nice. That's nice, man. That's why the Pokemon community rocks like that. That is freaking awesome. Awesome, awesome. Music good, guys? Is the music good? Let me know in the chat if the music good. I want to make sure that you guys are not bursting them eardrums. Oh, messed up my hat. Dude, I barely opened any Hidden Fates. Always drilling over them cards. Yeah, Hidden Fates is that set. My favorite set. I think it's going to be my favorite set for such a long time. But, as we know, we got that Shiny Vault 2. Potentially, maybe, speculation. So, it should be interesting. It should be interesting. Alright, you know what? I got, I got DNA in here. My master say it's complete. I'll be sharing it soon. Just waiting on my last two promo. Nice, dude. Freaking nice. So, I got DNA in the chat. And uh, I'm going to open up his package. He's actually sent me a nice... You guys are going to love this. You guys are going to love this because I know I'm going to freaking enjoy this. Uh, how do I want to say it? So, DNA is from Canada, right? And by the way, he does have a YouTube channel. Make sure you go ahead and check out DNA. Uh, they some really good stuff on their channel you guys if you like watching big hits big pulls definitely check them out but dna is all the way from canada and these are guys a basically a canadian exclusive and he was nice enough to reach out to me and say hey these are in stock mind you me and him talked about this like two months ago which is crazy right that he still thought uh, he still remembered that i wanted this product because i love this set so much so Shout out DNA Pokemon. If you guys haven't already, make sure you go ahead and make sure you subscribe to him. Make sure you check him out. He is a real dude, man. Super genuine. And I can't thank him enough for what he has sent me. 
went out of his way, like I said, to go ahead and get me this product and ship it all the way over from Canada. And it came here in like three days, which is just mind blowing, right? Because I'm all the way in Sunshine, Florida. I happen to skip away. So the fact that these got here so efficiently, man, it just, it's almost mind blowing. Do you guys have any, uh, any idea of what it may be? Can I get some guesses in the chat here? Of what may be in this? What's Canadian and a very exclusive to Canada? And a set that I like. I kind of gave that one a little bit away earlier. Oh, my knowledge sucks. <laughs> You're good, dude. No worries. I want to be careful with this box. I really don't know how high these things set up. This is, this is wrapped. Just freaking just absolutely wrapped. Hidden Fades double packs from Canada. Oh, oh, Trainer Leo, dude. You are on, on freaking point today, my friend. You are on point. I need to do a Champions Path ETB battle. I'm start staring at it and I'm scared to do it off camera. Yeah, dude, definitely don't do it off camera, man. At all. I will start a YouTube as I've ordered so many packs and blisters. Do you have any advice, bro? Yes, I do have some advice. Do what makes you happy while videoing, right? Just be yourself. And don't worry about the quality or how it comes out. Just go out there and just start shooting stuff. And if you're yourself and you enjoy what you do and people see that, that's all that matters. If you look at some of these bigger YouTubers, they've started legitimately from like, you know, a pixelated phone camera, you know, and worked their way up to what they are today. So you don't have to have the latest. You don't have the greatest. Slowly build and just enjoy what you're currently doing and opening up packs and just be yourself. I that's the best advice I can I believe you can get. Don't try to be somebody else, just be yourself. If you can do that, the rest will just follow, my friend. The rest will just follow. And if you do have any more questions, I'm very open to Instagram, uh messaging back also on Twitter. So just hit me up on there if you have any specific questions you want to ask and I really don't mind answering a few questions for you guys at all. Uh let's pull this on. <laughs> I know people sell those blisters for EU for $34.95. People pay. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, so these are coming from Canada. So shout out DNA, dude. You are a freaking legend. You guys are great, man. They are a family-friendly channel. And uh, husband and wife, guys. And make sure y'all check them out. Just make sure y'all check them out. So these are the double blisters, guys. These are it. There will be two Hidden Fates booster packs inside of these double blisters. You can only find them in Canada. They're not located in the U.S., and I've been dying to open these. So the fact that they came out in Canada and he reached out to me, I'm I'm over the moon with these. Like, this is freaking awesome. Like, oh man, man. I'm gonna keep saying like, 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 like this is just awesome. So this is made by MJ Holding Company. Now, the reason why they didn't do it like this for us, I have no idea. I can match them up. This is what we got. This is our version. Of the Hidden Fates like repack, it comes with one booster pack, and then you get the five promo regular random cards, five cards inside. So this is what we got. This is what they got, and I will take those two booster packs over the solo and some five Raggedy Ann cards for this, right? This is awesome. Like I said, Canadian exclusive. He hooked it up, guys, and. I don't see myself really keeping this sealed because you know I love to hit an open hidden fates and I want to pull that Zard. So this is for enjoyment right here. These are going to be for pure enjoyment. It's not going to be to keep sealed. It's going to be for pure utter enjoyment. I might just go live with these and go nuts. I don't know yet. But I am super thankful and happy to have these. It was money well spent, well worth it, and I couldn't have done it without my friends out there in Canada. So. Thank you, thank you so much. Do you like the receipt? Oh, I didn't even see the receipt. Hold on, let me go ahead and roll back on over here. What do we got in the receipt? <laughs> it's definitely a different style, dude. What is this? I'm not used to these kind of receipts. So that is the total purchase. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me go ahead and go over. Uh, how do you wh which part of them looking exactly is there anything else specific about the receipt? I need to see but it's kind of crazy looking. It's definitely different from what we have over here Nice, so yeah money well spent guys dude DNA appreciate it man appreciate it uh, What's up brother Dean Stone? What is going on dude? Let's get this all right. Hopefully we'll see we'll see we'll go on a Maybe a live stream and we'll do a video with it. I'm not sure 
I'm gonna do content with it. It's not gonna stay sealed. I don't wanna leave it sealed. I wanna go ahead and crack it wide the heck open. I'm excited. Hopefully you guys are too, so stay tuned for that video or live stream in the near, 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 near future. All right, we'll go another bubble mailer. So this package that I got here, I uh, I wasn't really expecting. I kind of was, but I wasn't. This, by the way, there is a Nidoqueen Queen back there. Uh, this was a deal done or <laughs> said between Chelsea and Epic. This is coming from Ep uh, Harley Epic QHD. And uh, they were talking about some kind of Japanese cards over live stream while I was live. And somehow I ended up with this. So what Japanese cards they are, I have no idea. I honestly didn't even ask Chelsea in general. She just said I have some Japanese cards coming my way. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Well, I'm going to open them when we get them so everybody can see. But so I guess these are technically for Chelsea. Japanese coming from uh, Harley at Epic Tude HD. Also another channel that you guys need to check out if you haven't already. I'm sure a lot of you guys that are in the chat probably do follow him and his lives and stuff. And great family, great channel. So this is coming from them as a gift. Not asked for, not, you know, just as a, as a pure gift. Not, you know, just very nice of them. So, wow, by the way. Okay, so there's a bunch of extras and a no. I like this. Ooh, nice. So we got a Hello Kitty bag. If you guys don't know, Harley's wife, Epic Mom. She uh, she does Hello Kitty stuff and is starting, kind of started already, a Hello Kitty channel. So this is the Hello Kitty stuff that she had, which is pretty neat. Let's go ahead and just save that bag. I'm sure Chelsea will enjoy that. So dang, they hooked us up with some freaking stickers, dude. As you guys know, I'm a huge Charizard fan. I'm a Charizard hunter. I love the card itself. I know a lot of people don't do out there. They, they don't like it as much, but yeah, I love Charizard. I love the hunt and it's a fun card. And this one is a shout out to our boy Charmeleon, who you guys have been seeing in the front camera hanging out. And uh, lately I've been recording in a part where he's super sleepy, so I don't want to put him on his shoulder, wake him all up. So I just kind of sit him down in front of the camera and he hangs out with us as we open up packs. So that is freaking awesome. Let me catch up on the chat over here. Would you rather open Champions Path or Hidden Fates all day, every day? Champions Path is fun, but it's not as fun as Hidden Fates. There's so many cards in Hidden Fates. That are awesome and they are exciting to pull from something as small as a uh i don't even know man i don't even know someone from a swabble baby shiny to you know the epic charizard the, the evolutions hunting for those is fun there's so many cards on that set and that's why it's so expensive and it's going to hold this value over a long period of time it's just a phenomenal set to open so yeah hidden fates all day every day i'll take it uh to be honest like you know, if, 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 if there was a Canadian Champions Path exclusive, I wouldn't go out of my way to or want to even seek uh, getting something from there. This, this I'll take all day, every day. It's 12 a.m. in the UK, but I love the stream, so can't leave. Poker Red, dude, I appreciate you hanging out. If you need to go to bed, totally understand. We can't make them all. Uh, but I'm glad that you've been here for the time that you have been. I really, really appreciate it. We got PTCG Hustler. Sup, dude? What's going on? We got Odd Oddish. Man, you guys are just popping in heavy. Gyarados Freak. We got a bunch of people. It's a party in the live chat right now, dude. I appreciate you guys hanging out. We are opening some more packs. And if you guys want to see some of the stuff that I've already opened, let me know. I can do a quick recap. I don't mind. I know I'm talking fast. I got a lot of stuff to do. I got a lot of stuff to say. So we're going to keep it very, very high energy, high level today. So when does that shirt drop? Dude, do you guys love this shirt or what? Geodude, Geodude follows me everywhere with the little Polish Rob emblem on the, on the bottom there with YouTube. Man, shout out to my sister for making this. Another unexpected item. She just hit me up. She's like, hey, I got something to show you. And she sent me a picture. And like, I about freaking teared up. I had like heart emojis coming out of my eyes. This is awesome, guys. So it's going to be worn with some of my Hidden Fates opening. Because as you know, as I open a Hidden Fates pack, there's a Geodude inside. I start talking and singing the jingle. So sometimes I forget, but other times I remember. So shout out to the sis for hooking me up with that. Charizard has chased about 3 million people. Yeah, Charizard is a highly, highly, highly chased card, but it's fun, right? It's fun. Everybody wants to pull that Zard. Rob, congrats. Uh, I see you pull the shiny V like I did. Still need the rainbow V Max. Kyle, dude, I appreciate it. That card honestly means the world to me. If you guys missed that live stream, go ahead and check it out. I don't mind if you scroll through down to the Charizard pull. It was a very. Uh, emotional moment not just for pulling the Charizard for me but for the time of day and thing that happened in that day for me it was just an emotional experience and I'm that's one of those cars that 
you know, push came to shove. If I have to sell everything in my household, that's something I would just keep for me forever because it just means that much. So, yeah, thank you, dude. I'm going to be on the hunt for that Charizard VMAX Hyper Rare as well. I got plenty of Champions Path right now to open up. I got some pack battles with it. So, maybe we'll get lucky. Who knows? Uh, JCS Pokemon, I love watching your videos. You got some good kind of dude. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you We're improving. We're trying as we go. There's stuff in my content too that I want to go ahead and improve on and expand on So I appreciate that man. It really uh, means the world to me and we are a work in progress every single step of the way So thank you so much. Uh, I feel like Champion Path isn't good because the because then the Zard and Gardev Gardevoir Our set is mediocre and super expensive currently. Yeah, I mean Champion's Path is just <sighs> it's tough. Um, if it wasn't for the two Jarzards, I think it would be one of those sets as well that, I mean, wouldn't... It'd be equivalent to Steam Siege, right? I've said that, I think, a few times. If it wasn't for the two Jarzards, there's nothing really in there that I really want. Uh, but those cards are a heck of a time to... A heck of a time to try to find. It's fun. A lot of fun. I want that shirt. Your background is phenomenal. Dude, this shirt, man eventually not anytime soon uh i think i'm gonna try to do a little bit of merch maybe something small like just to get out there it's not uh i'm not gonna be i'm basically not doing to make profit i'm doing it to kind of break even i'm gonna talk to my sister about doing some kind of small things very intimate things uh nothing really out there to to go crazy on but yeah something like this or whatever so you guys over the next few months Maybe six months or so, I'm going to be asking questions, maybe live stream what people think, what people might want to see, might not want to. And we'll grow and go from there. Embracing the Geo, dude. Yes. <laughs> uh, what if they do a shiny Snorlax and... Z oh, dude. What other Pokemon would you like to see in upcoming shiny ball? The Snorlax would be absolutely epic, right? I mean, that'd be like number one chase card. When they did it for Short and Shield base with the VMAX, that was number one Chelsea's go-to. And number two... Uh, it got me hyped up as well. But I would love to see a shiny Blastoise and I would love to see a shiny Venusaur. I think they need to add the other starters along with the shiny Zard to the mix, right? We've been falling away from those two Pokemon way too long. And I think it's time to go ahead and revive them back and get them the love that they, you know, I mean, they deserve. They deserve it. They're, they're OGs. Uh... The Oddish. Dude, did you see where your where video where I finally pulled the Hidden Face Charizard? It was a Charizard box, a Charizard pack. I had a regular Charizard GX from the standard set hit. All the same pack. Was that a recent video? A recent video? See, a lot of the videos that I do watch, sometimes I watch on the way to work. And, uh, and sometimes I get caught up in driving. But uh, I try to catch as much, as much, as much as possible. So... If I did miss that part, let me know. But I don't think I did. I think I would have heard the, the commotion after the big pull. Uh, wow, 36 people in the hizzy. Let's go smash the like button. Yeah, guys, I appreciate it. Dang, there is, there's 41 right now. Yeah, if you guys are just joining, definitely smash the like button. It means the world and does help the live stream out a lot and continues to get me motivation to keep doing stuff like this. I know it's just the mail day, but I love mail. I, mean, I hope you guys do too. Whenever, even if you know what you're getting, like... You know, it's just, it's super exciting to know that you're getting something that you really wanted, you really sought after, you paid for it, you just kind of been waiting. So, all this stuff has been sitting here for like the last month, like piling slowly but surely. And I knew I wanted to do kind of live stream like this and kind of see the vibes and see what you guys thought of this kind of style of video anyway, with just mail. And uh, I've just been wanting to open it so bad. But this letter, guys, is coming from, I'm going to catch up in the chat here in a second. This letter is coming from Epic Dude. Uh, HC the fam to Rob and Chelsea you guys have been uh, so awesome and love everything you've done to make Something what oh the channel way has become your friend Epic tube HD epic dad epic mom epic Ethan epic Hayden and rainbow Isabella guys Thank you. Thank you so much I know they're gonna tune in for live stream later and this is their calling card by the way if you guys don't know epic tube HD is check them out They are a family friendly style channel. They are awesome they're starting to do more live streams. They do big openings sometimes. Me and him might do a big hidden page opening. That should be exciting, right? So definitely go ahead and check them out. Uh, They're great. They've been on the Pokecast before. Just great, great people in general. Uh, thanks, uh, CJ's Poke and uh, Ketchum. I have been on the hidden page challenge. So yeah, <laughs> dude, that card, Odd Oddish, is absolute. By the way, Odd Oddish, another great channel. Dude, you have a crazy collection back there, right? Like, 
uh, you got so, you got stacks on stacks of stuff back there. A lot of product that I look, I'm like, dang, I wish I had. Uh, they need to shift focus towards the Galar. If they are trying to sell the expansion pack, shiny Rillaboom or Soccer Bunny better hit in there. Dude, I agree. I agree. They definitely need to change. But for the shiny Pokemon, I think they need to revive some of those older Pokemon back. Kind of like they did with Hidden Fates. They brought some of those older Pokemon back to life. And I think they need to do it in shiny Vault 2. Poltrop, I just uploaded it again. Okay, so I did miss it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, I'm going to go ahead and definitely check it out. If you guys haven't checked it out either, if you're done with the live stream, want to go check out the video, definitely do. I do All right, nice. So these are the two that we got. We got cake, 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 cake. Al Creamy singing on a cake. And Togetic. Nice, V. So these are coming from Legendary Heartbeat. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. I believe they're coming from Legendary Heartbeat. I haven't opened that set at all the channel. I struggle to open Japanese in general just because it's a hassle to try to find and get and then going through Amazon, Jap Amazon Japan and all that stuff. It's kind of a hassle. So, yeah, anyways, dude, these are spicy. So these are going out to Chelsea from the Epic Family. Shout out to them. Thank you so much for that. All right. All right. Guys, what do you think? What do we think? I got uh, next up on the list. I got two big box and I got a big bubble mailer. What are you guys thinking? Two big box or big bubble mailer? What do you guys think? Going to be a big WOTC vintage giveaway soon. Gyarados free. Nice, dude. That should be pretty good. That should be pretty good. I've seen you send off a bunch, a bunch of uh, hidden face stuff. So shout out to you, sir. I'm great, guys. Can't complain. Check a Rob's stream out before I got to put my oldest daughter to bed. She's five. Daddy's girl, so she always picks me. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. We'll definitely take care of the kids, man. It is nothing better than uh, doing and spending family time like that, for sure. So, uh, leave the live stream and go <laughs> take care of the daughter. <laughs> man, Polo Shop Envy are back. It was so clean and nice eyes. It really popped. Dude, I appreciate it. Something that I found. I was like, I know I need to have back there. It's my style. I feel like I just I just felt it, so I needed to get it. But, dude, your, your background with just your collection of things is freaking awesome, man. It's absolutely absolutely cool almost at 1k yes we are and i can't wait to do the live stream giveaway it's going to be super hype a lot of freaking fun i hope you guys are looking forward to it too it's super easy to enter all you gotta do is just watch my videos i'm gonna be on this alive like this and i'm gonna be asking you guys questions from my videos from up until i i announced my giveaway up until now and if you guys have been watching some of the videos and keeping up with it and you hear a question that you might know from that I asked from one of those, yeah, you're gonna be a winner and you're guaranteed to win. So I'll give you guys a little sneak preview here if you guys want. I'll have a stack of cards like this. So if you get, if you win two booster packs and let's say they're both duds, I'm not gonna let you go away empty handed. You're still gonna get a pull. So I'll have a stack of cards like this. This is probably gonna be some of these cards. And uh, yeah, and I mean, you're guaranteed to walk around with some kind of rare. I got a shiny card in there, Snorlax V. So no matter what, you guys are all gonna be going home as winners. And uh, I'll have some kind of collection box or a rare card at the end. So even if you want two booster packs, you still have a chance at the end to win something. So stick around for the whole live stream and let's have some fun. Uh, just poking fun. Uh, Shiny Crystal e-reader cards for new Nintendo Switch would be killer. Even if bombs on the Nintendo side, I think would be killer. That would, dude. You make a very, very valid point. King Yaz, dude. What is going on, King Yaz? Welcome to the live stream, man. We're hanging out, opening up some boxes, and I'm trying to figure out which uh, Bubba Mailer. Bubba Mailer. I think I'm going to do the Bubba Mailer. That's how, that sounds good. We'll, we'll save the big boxes for the end. So, all right. Good luck with the live stream. Be back later. All right, JCS Pokemon. Dude, I appreciate it. Thank you for hanging out, as always. And if I don't see you for the rest of the night, I will catch you later, dude. So, I appreciate you. Me, I need one more to 100 subs. Collectionista, someone give him that 100 sub. Shout out to Collection East, man. He is a great, great Poketuber itself. He takes on the Spanish side of Pokemon. For those that don't understand too much English, he takes that. <laughs> this is this is this is interesting rapping job. So this is coming from uh, my friends Jim and Nicole at JD State CCM90. They were so nice enough to go ahead and trade for this card, and I could not be happier with what I'm going to get because this is another one of those staple cards that I could just not pull. So I'm excited for this. But yeah, guys, give some, somebody give Collection East that last, uh, that last sub now, would ya? All right, good luck with the live stream. Be back later. All right, read that one. Rob, I'm officially declaring for the McKeg Challenge. What? Dude, I dig that. I dig that. Definitely take it on, man. 
I've uh, I've been seeing more and more videos pop up, and I could not be any happier with people trying to take on that task. And to be honest, I've gotten smoked, right? I've gotten smoked with some of these challenges. It's been absolutely freaking. People have been killing it, absolutely. Killing it. Except for Yizzy, Yizzy, I'm here. You failed. <laughs> But he found, uh, he found someone to freaking just dominate it, dude. Bodacious. That guy dominated my challenge. Uh, we just way I found your channel. I showed me that you subbed me, so I clicked. And, uh, and saw you did Pokemon, dude. King Yaz. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, I do remember. I do remember something in your channel. Nice. Well, I'm glad you're here hanging out for the live stream, dude. And, uh, we're opening up some more mail. Maybe I'll open a pack or two, and we're gonna call it a live stream. So I appreciate y'all hanging out. We got Polish Rob. Thank you so much for the kind words. You have been a really great job on your channel, too. We are so thankful to be your friend and so thankful to meet you on YouTube. It was a wonderful experience to be on your podcast. Thank you so much. We still can't believe we pulled that shiny Zardon. You guys dang sure did, and I'm super jealous of it, but I couldn't be any happier for you guys. Uh, thank you for wanting to trade with us. Rob Mob, your friends, Jim and Nicole. Guys, I appreciate it. And uh, I can appreciate these cards. These cards, I wasn't expecting one card. If I remember correctly. Uh, <laughs> we got the Pee Wee Herman signed uh, Rotom Bike by Jim Davis <laughs> and Nicole. Guys, if you guys don't know Jim, he does voices and he does a Pee Wee Herman very, 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 very well. So yeah, this card is actually really unique to be signed as a uh, as a fun card. Ah, that's freaking awesome. <laughs> I dig it. Make sure there's not any card, other cards inside. Dang, dude, with the promo Snorlax GX. I actually said that I've wanted this card pretty bad. I've, I've never gotten, never went out of my way to go ahead and get it yet. So, dude, appreciate that, guys. Jim, Nicole, you guys are awesome. Definitely not needed, but very much appreciated. That is freaking awesome of you guys, man. You guys really didn't have to. And the Eldegoss B. Nice. From Rebel Clash. Also, like I like to call Rebel Trash because I have the worst pull rate. Of anybody in that set of getting anything good. So, I did my Polish booster pack opening by the. Ooh, okay, Pokemon Hollow. That's gonna be on my wish list for sure to go ahead and check out. Got to check that out. So, I'm definitely gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, you're very welcome, Nicole. Thank you, JD. Thank you, dude. You guys are just freaking awesome, 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 awesome. And guys, go ahead and guess what this card is. So I wanted to go ahead and uh, save that one on the side, hide it a little bit so you guys can guess what this card potentially may or may not be. And if you're just joining live, make sure you smash that live button or that live button, that subscribe button and that like button if you haven't already, guys. It means the world to me. Sauce McGavin with the fire freaking guess. Yes. So we got a Cynthia, guys, and this card is freaking nice. We need it for the master set. So now, officially, the only card that I'm missing from Hidden Fates will be that Shiny Zard, which I have promised to pull on the channel. So let's uh, wish, let's wish me luck in the near future videos and lives to come. Hopefully, we can get it. So thank you guys once again. You guys are the best. Check them out if you haven't already. Why not? Is that Shiny Ash? Shiny Ash. Rob, when McKeg shout out. I'm not sure, man. There's more and more people that are saying they're going to go ahead and do the, the Pokemon McKeg challenge. So, I'm not sure exactly. I'm not sure exactly. I know I'm going to do it in the near future. I'm going to do a live stream like this, and I'm just going to start rattling off names. All right, so we got a big box. A very big box. So, this one is coming from, if you guys don't know, NC Packbuster. I shot him out all the time, and I ordered some stuff from him. And I think, yeah, this is, this is from NC Packbuster. So, uh, as you can see, he likes to put the tape the you know do not accept if uh, seal is damaged or tampered with so they're legit guys they do a great great job out there and this is coming from them so you guys are going to be happy with the stuff i got from them it's more recent stuff nothing crazy out of this world from any later sets but something that's really going to be a treat if you will uh, yes, it's my big gorgeous card. Glad you like. Yeah, I, I don't just like it. I love it. It's gonna go straight to the folder, and uh, that tape can be bought. <laughs> Pokemon Hollow, always with the uh, <laughs> with the interesting information. All right, here we go. So we got that. A bunch of bubble wrap, so we know it's packed very very well. And I don't know if I need to show on the front camera more wrapping stuff to keep all my products safe so the first thing we got is boom an elite trainer box because i took 
I took <laughs> the stand that I was going to get backup product everywhere. Just in case I couldn't get it, I made sure that I was getting it from everywhere so I wouldn't be in a uh, crappy situation, if you will, and not end up getting anything Champions Craft related. Then we got a pin collection from them as well. Just one, just one. I don't want to ask for too many crazy. I know they had a bunch of orders, so I just didn't want to be that guy that was just ordering a bunch of stuff from them. You know, I want everybody to have an opportunity to get some things. So these are the few things I got for them. So shout out NC Packbuster, uh, Adam out there, just hooking it up. So thank you so much, man. It is much appreciated and will be open here in the near future on the channel. So should be nice. Maybe I'll open one box today. Who knows? If you guys hang out for a little bit longer, I'll open that as well. So that's what we got from Adarish. Will you, uh, you will get it, Rob. It is starting to lose faith, but the Pokey Gods finally blessed me. You have the Champions Pass Shining Zard, though. I have opened close to 100 packs, five ETBs, and more. Yeah, it didn't take me that long to go ahead and get one of the Zards, which I'm so thankful for, because the Shiny Zard has, from Hidden Fates, has been about 750 packs plus, which, if you do the math, is kind of expensive. So, yeah. Nicole went to work, Rob. I'm still here. JD, dude, I appreciate hanging out. Does anybody know why there are no booster boxes for Champions Path? Yes, King Yaz. I can go ahead and answer that question for you really quick. So, any set that is a holiday set or a special edition set, a.k.a. like a 3.5 is what they're going to call it. So, we got Hidden Page, which was 3.5. Now, we got Champions Path, 3.5. Basically, they don't do any booster boxes of it. They're just special sets. That's why these ETBs fly off the shelves because this is the closest thing to a booster box that you're going to get from special editions. Anything that you want to open Champions Path has to come from either a collection box, a pin box. Now they have the special collection pin boxes. They're going to have the Marnie special sets with the play mats. They got the Hatterene boxes. So it's a holiday set. So it comes in holiday form, which will be these kind of boxes. Now, if you see booster boxes out there, one, they can be, they're usually scams and they're fake cards. So be careful with that. And two, it's somebody that made up their own booster box like Yizzy did a live the other day. And he legitimately made his own booster box. Opened a bunch of doubles and stuff packs into there just to call it a booster box. So that is the reason why you won't find a special haul or a, a booster box when it's a holiday set. And they do that every single year. Uh, Rob, keep one of those for our pack battle. Yeah, dude, I, I definitely got uh, for stuff for any of the pack. Any, not just you, anybody that's done a pack battle for me and want to open Champions Path, I make sure I have that on the side. That way I have the content to go ahead and open with them. So we are a-okay. Uh, apparently we're restocking this week, Rob. So keep an eye out Wednesday through Friday night. Pokeballers, you guys have it all. I'm cashed. I'm done. That's it. That's it for me. Champions, me and Champions Path, that's it. So I'm going to try to get the VMAX Zard from what I have. Fingers crossed. We'll see. But I think I'm cashed on the Champions Path, to be honest. It has just been too, too much. Oh my God, 750. <laughs> yeah, but hey, uh, I like to say you can't win if you don't play exactly. But you almost have the whole master set though. Yep, just the shiny Zard. That's it. We're going to try to pull it. Of course, I will buy more here in the Fate stuff. But if I need to. But uh, yeah, we're going to keep trying. If you don't know who Epic is, Odd Odd, she's actually opened, like, I think like 1,400? Last time I checked, 14 or 1,500. And he's still counting. He's still opening up more. It's crazy. But... Yeah, he's got me beat. He's got me beat by almost double. Yeah, King Gaz, yes, don't mind at all. Don't mind answering that question for you at all. So, yeah, get yourself one if they're still available. It's definitely worth it. It's a lot of fun to open, too. I love e EDBs from any set. Pokeballers, do you guys have a website? Uh, I think Pokeballers are talking about our local area. They're actually in the same area as I am. And I think they're just talking about that Walmart's and Target's going to restock this week coming up. Jay's Toys and more. Same here, man. I have way too much Champions Path. Yeah, dude. I don't blame you. I'm cash, cash, cash on Champions Path. And I'm taking the backseat on Vivid Voltage because of it also. Uh, it is what it is. I don't mind Champions Path. It's, it's, it's not great of a set, but it's a fun set to open because you can pull that Zard. And that's what makes it very exciting. Thankfully, pulled that Rainbow Charger VMAX. Scratch my edge or I would probably open a lot more. Yeah, the Shiny Zard for me has definitely which is right here hanging out if you guys haven't noticed already definitely curb that fix for me as well but i would love to have that secondary card right especially since they have the v max and darkness blaze now you have the matching hyper rare from champion's path and now maybe we'll see a shiny v max charizard from shiny vault 2 
that should be interesting so imagine all three of those cards together i think it would look absolutely spicy and something that i definitely definitely want and i wouldn't mind double up because i think in a in a psa grade and a slab would just look awesome displayed i think it would look so good i just started collecting it it's never too late to uh collect dude it's definitely not too late to collect. in the vintage it's definitely gonna be hard to collect but right now with the most modern stuff maybe except for champions path it's never too late to collect definitely start off with vivid voltage if anything it's gonna be a lot cheaper the market's not gonna be blown up like it is with champions path so uh i haven't opened any champions path yet if you find some i recommend it you can pull that charge up plus it's a lot of fun and it's not too expensive if you can find it at retail right it's it's msrp price uh sauce we are not sellers we're just other poketubers that are keen to some champions path and got a warning that our area is restocking sorry for getting hope so yeah so yeah definitely uh just our local area is what we're talking about we're, we're from the same land you have only opened two dark displays king gas darkness blaze is definitely a fun set as well i recommend opening it i haven't had the greatest luck with it but i've gotten some good cards from it. i haven't pulled the charizard but i did get it as a gift which was very nice shout out rpg but it's uh it's great set the artwork, artwork is amazing and people are trying to collect that master set walmart restock evolutions etbs this week got one for 29.99 that is a great find dude people when they heard that they were hitting the shelves were also getting there in the mornings and scooping them all up i luckily went to a walmart that was a little bit out, actually a good amount out of my way it was out of town and i stumbled upon a few etbs and i picked them up myself and they're gonna be as a sealed collection right i don't I have most of the cards I wanted from Evolutions anyways, and I don't plan on collecting a Master Set. So just having those ETB sealed, I think it's going to be nostalgic, it's going to be nice, and it's going to look good. So I'm going to go ahead and keep those. I completed the starters from base set. Nice, King Yaz. That is a good. Those are some good starters to go ahead and complete. If either of us don't fall, other one, we can part <laughs> do partial custody. We can swap every four months. Yeah, that's a good idea for sure. <laughs> Tom Bystander, what's going on? How is how's it feel to be a gangsta son happy mail day yeah the mail day has been great i got one more box i want to go ahead and share with y'all that i got recently another guy that i had on my pokecast if you guys tuned in for that episode it was poke charles and this is coming from him another one of those backups that i had just in case i couldn't find anything in the stores and uh wanted to be sure i had something right because i wanted to share some campaigns path with you guys and uh okay cool 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 there's bubble wrap on top i thought i cut the boxes i was like oh no you big dummy uh <laughs> hey um came in time litchy laugh out loud what is going on litchy how are you oh dang he shipped all of them yo i thought i was only getting two what, what? let's go he shipped all of them. i was expecting that so I got from Pokey Charles. You guys should check him out. He is a reputable seller as well. Boom! There it is. Another Elite Trainer box from Champion's Path. This was my my total last minute backup just in case I could not secure the bag, if you will. But I want to go ahead and make sure I secure the bag. So we got some we got some ETBs, guys. We do, we do. And I don't think I'm gonna open them all. I think my plan for these ETBs is, no, I'm not going to leave a bunch of them sealed. That's just not what I'm going to do. I think it's going to be one of those things for me where I have an itch, and it's a year down the road, and Champion's Path has kind of just fell underneath the radar, and I'm like, hey, let's bring some Champion's Path back. Let's see if we can pull a Charizard. Maybe I'll do a Charizard episode and bring a bunch of different, uh, you know, a bunch of different cards from or sets that have chargers in it and try to open that that way so it's just gonna be one of those things where i just have hanging out and i whip out as a treat if you will to go ahead and open i think these are trainer box a year down the road two years down the road people will see that as a treat rather than a must now set so it was very important to me to go ahead and secure some that way i can enjoy it years down the road whereas like hidden fades i'm trying to pull that charizard now uh, so I'm not going to treat myself later. I would love to like open up this pack right now, which actually we're going to do. Uh, we're going to open up that pack. I would love to just open up, pull this and be like, oh my God, now I have those as a treat. I'm not a reseller. I don't like to sell at crazy prices later down the road. It's just not my thing to do. I want to have these th 
things to treat myself to and potentially pull. And if I do pull doubles or triples of cards, then I'll probably get them graded and see if I can go ahead and sell a card like that in order just to bring money back to the channel and buy some more stuff for content for you guys. So that's the only reason that I see uh, myself doing stuff like that. It's just, you know, I'm not, I'm not this crazy reseller. I don't buy it to freaking flip a crazy profit. And if you do, I mean, that's fine. That's your thing. But my thing is just to open it up and have fun with it and just enjoy Pokemon in general as a great, amazing hobby that I love. So, uh, those XY Evolution E3s look nice. They do. They're clean. And the ones I got were super crisp. I just traded Charger and Blastoise E3 for a Team Rocket Light Pack. One of the newest prize possessions. Wow, dude. That's nice, actually. As you know, I mean, you know, it's Light Pack, so you're not going to open it, but it's going to look great as a just sealed nostalgic pack. I don't blame you for doing that. Uh, I seen Evolution ETBs on Walmart shelves in real break Nate videos. Sure enough, I went to my Walmart in Ohio and they had four. Only bought one Zard and already opened it. Ah, oh, oh, dude, I probably would have left it sealed. There's so much Evolutions being printed right now in booster boxes that you can get your hands on for a great price still. Uh, that would have definitely left it sealed. So if you find one, just leave it sealed. Leave it sealed. And if you want to open it down the road a year, two, three, when people forget about those ETBs, and if you either locked them away somewhere or actually opened them, then you can treat yourself. You know, treat yourself to a good video, um, and a unique video at that time, and just enjoy evolutions, right? Eventually, they're going to stop printing it. And those ETBs are going to mean a lot more than just being an ETB from evolutions. Uh, what size tank you got your Charmeleon in? So, I have him... You know, maybe I'll go ahead and put that on a uh, Instagram post. How about that? I'll do an Instagram post of him hanging out in his environment, right? Uh, so I, I'll do that one of those posts, and it's one of those... Oh, man, what is the brand name? Exoterra? It's one of those Exoterros, but it's not... It's the one with the two doors on the front, but it's not like the t taller one. It's more the medium-sized one, because when I talked to a... Uh, when I talked to the, you know, the store when I was freaking him when it was, when it was a little baby... They basically said that they're more comfortable in smaller environments. They don't like to climb up super high. So they recommended that one. And he's he's loved it. You know, he's loved it. So I don't mind. But yeah, I'll, I'll put a picture on Instagram. How about that? So if you follow me on there, I'll post one. You guys can check out where Charmeleon hangs out when he's not on camera. Or just hanging out by my side when I'm like editing videos or whatnot. Dang, those ETPs are nice. I got robbed in Target parking lot coming out of mine. I'm like, what? What? That's crazy, dude. That's unfortunate, man. That's that's something I definitely don't want to freaking see or hear about. I mean, why would someone do that? That's that cool. That cool at all. Uh, bye, Polish Rob, and everyone. Great time. All right, catch up, dude. I appreciate you hanging out. Uh, as long as you did, it means the world to me, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the mail today. Uh, if you guys just joined the live stream and you missed some of the mail, definitely let, you, let me know. I'll do a recap, right? I'll do a real quick recap. And then I'll open maybe one double slash maybe pin collection and one Hidden Fates double booster pack. If you guys want to see that, let me know. And I'll do the quick recap and then we'll open some packs and we'll poke call it a stream. I appreciate you guys hanging out for as long as you did. It means the world to me. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the mail that I got because I know it's going to be great content in the future. And it's filled out my master set. And it's just very nice things that people have sent me. Which some of them did not have to at all. So shout out to those individuals. What's everyone's favorite Pokemon? Mine is Solgaleo. Solgaleo. Mine is all Snorlax. Snorlax is my favorite Pokemon. And I butcher Pokemon names, by the way, so just bear with me. I'll try to collect correct the best I can, but typically 9 out of 10, I mess it up. ETBs from Evolution sell for about 100 euros in a row. Wow, that's, that's quite a bit. We don't get the reprints. That's pretty expensive. I can see why people are scooping them up and probably trying to ship them out to there for it overpriced amount jay avila rob what's up brother what's going on jay man we just opened up all of our mail and i'm willing to go ahead and go over it if you guys want to see it e wow i know people fight over it it doesn't surprise me yeah, that's absolutely nuts we got a tax scope with a recap we got a recap we got your 16 weight from 1k 16 dang let's go last time i checked the thing it was at like 980 so shout out to uh you guys for really pushing it that far man i couldn't have done it without y'all promise i really couldn't have done it without y'all so appreciate each and every one of you that have uh subscribed and hang out and do my lives with me and hopefully enjoy your time right keep killing rob rob mo oh, cash thatch and what is going on dude what is going on good to see you in the live stream so yeah let's do a recap guys i'll do a really quick one i'm not gonna hide the cards or anything like that and i'll try to remember who sent what i think i have a good idea of what 
So this is the recap so far. These two, let me switch with the camera. These two fun things came from Epic 2. A couple of stickers. We know that we are love our Charmeleon and we are Charizard Hunters. So that came from them. Then we got a Tax Croak uh, calling card. We got a Cynthia coming from Jim and Nicole at JD State CCM 90. We got a Snorlax coming in from them as well. And a Eldegrass, which was two cards I did not expect. Then, of course, their signed card as a Rotom Bike. We got a VMAX Alchemy coming from Epic Tube HD. This is more for Chelsea. And a Togetic coming in. For these are all from the Japanese set, uh, Legendary Heartbeat. We got a Raichu that came from Pokefight. I was not expecting that as well. Because he sent us a Mount Coronet, which was awesome of him. Uh, we actually traded for this card, and I really appreciate the trade because I needed it for a Hidden Fates Master Set as well. Then we got a thank you card from Jordan Fridge because we bought from him with the help of um, not Shivam. We got a Espeon, of course, that spicy card. We got a Zygarde. And then we also got a Staka Staka Taco Bell Taka. Someone said Taco Bell in there, just reminded me of it. Uh, then we got a Haunter Reverse, also from Toxic Croak, and from Toxic Croak, we got a Tapu Coco Gold from Hidden Fate. So a lot of Hidden Fate stuff, guys, because I really wanted to complete that set. The only one I'm not, uh, the only those are the cards I wasn't worried about trading for or purchasing. Uh, I'm only worried about pulling that shiny Zard, right? So then from DNA Pokemon, guys, we got these double pack blisters, exclusive only to Canada. I've seen people open them. I was super jealous. I needed to go ahead and get these in my life, and we did. DNA reached out to me, told me he found some on the spot, and uh, was super nice to send me, this is 10 of them, 10 of them, which will be 20 packs of Hidden Fates, but we are going to open that sucker right there tonight before we exit this live stream, and I'm just not going to roll over. So we got those, so these will be for later live stream slides videos, so be tuned for those. Then from the Golden Wardle, he sent us, was nice enough to send us, two of these packy one chip challenges right so we are going to do a one chip challenge at one point or the other whether it's live stream whether it's a video pokemon related i think it's going to be a lot of fun so we got that stuff then from nc packbuster we ordered some a couple doubles then we ordered a pin collection and then we also got from him an elite trainer box of champions path and then i got three four more of these Champions Path, and which came from uh, Poke Charles, Adam from there. So there's two different Adams that sell Poke products as well. So that's a quick recap of what we got. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoy that stuff. Because I know I am. It's going to be content for the channel. Nothing is going to be resold or anything like that. It's for my master set. It's for content. And uh, I can't wait to start ripping into this stuff. So hopefully you guys are hyped just as much as I am. From where? Okay, hold on. Let me scroll up because there's some questions in here. Uh, I saw a good question here. From where did you order the ETBs? Okay, so I ordered the ETBs from Poke Charles and I ordered it from NC Packbusters. They're both two different channels, both named Adam, of course. And they sell, and there's also, okay, I'm not going to go into all those details with confusing details, but NC Packbuster and Poke Charles, they're both named Adam and they sell Pokemon products. They had ETBs and I pre ordered from them and then they sent it over to me. So if you're looking for some, they should be getting a second wave. Don't quote me how much they're getting or if they're allocated to other individuals already. But give them a shout. Tell them I sent you. And ask them if they have any ETBs available for purchase. And they'll they'll get back to you quick. You can find them on Instagram and you can find them on Twitter. And Twitter, and they are very, very fast to respond. So definitely hit them up. But I just said merch giveaway at 1,500 subs. Ooh, if you guys want a merch giveaway at 1,500 subs, we can definitely do that. If she's willing to hook it all up, I'm definitely down to do that as well. Lichie said he said from Poke Charles. Okay, so we were answering that question. I bet Rob is going to hit 1K in a week, mark my words. By next Monday, we'll have a Rob 1K party. That's what I want to do, Pokeballers. I want to do a live stream on my birthday, hopefully at 1K, fingers across, and do the live stream giveaway on that day as well. So I want to celebrate my birthday on top of celebrating 1K, on top of celebrating with you guys and giving away Darkness Ablaze booster packs from a booster box free no charge to enter all you gotta do is answer some questions on the live stream from videos that i've done and that's it you answer the right question and are first to answer you're going to receive two booster packs 
Guaranteed pull no matter what because I'll have some rare cards on the side. I'm gonna pull from the top if you don't get a good card I want you guys to get some good so many Adams in the Pokemon uh, community. I agree, dude We got uh, Adam Poke Charles. We got Adam NC Packbuster. We got Adam uh, Golden Wardle. So we got Adams all over the place. I Got lucky and found two at Walmart on Sunday. Yeah, DNA you uh, you told me about that dude. That was a sweet 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 fight uh, because I'm from the UK, Pokemon isn't big, so I want to buy lots of product from USA because I love Pokemon. It's a great memory from being a child. I agree, Poker Red. Definitely hit up NC. I don't know what their international shipping looks like. I know they do to Canada, but I don't know if they do over the pond. So definitely, uh, you know, reach out to them and see what they can do for you. I don't know the answer to that question. I would love to answer it in a more accurate way. Maybe I should ask myself for any future live streams where I do shout them out. But that's as far as what I know. Uh, Toxico, what's up, brother? Sorry, I haven't got back to you with the trade. Been dead lately. We'll get back to him, man. Dang, mama, I'll get back to Toxico. Let's figure out this trade. Let's do the trade right now in the live stream. Let's go ahead and figure out your trade in the live stream right now. Let's trade some Pokemans. Yeah, let's figure out a trade, guys. Let's do it. Let's everybody listen on their trade talk. Uh, I'm going to go to this song here. No problem, Momo. Package is still here. Who should I go to? Sorry, I missed what you said. Go to uh, NC Packbuster on Instagram. Probably is going to be the fastest way they respond. So NC Packbuster on Instagram and Poke Charles on Instagram as well. Those two individuals. And if you have trouble finding them or how to spell it out, they were on my Pokecast. So go to one of my Pokecast videos and it'll say NC Packbuster. Another one will say Poke Charles. Poke Charles was actually my last li or live Pokecast. So you can find him that way as well. I'll have the link to his channel in that video. And you can also find him on Instagram. And they respond very, very quickly. So definitely check them out. All right, guys. What do you guys want to see open? I'm going to open up this. Uh, Hidden Fades Booster Pack Double. And after this one, I will either open a double or a pin collection. But that is all we're going to open up, guys. And we're going to call it a live stream. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. And I want to go ahead and open some packs in front of y'all. Maybe we can get a monstrosity of a hit. So as I get into these hidden fates, let me go ahead and switch over the cameras real quick. As we get into this hidden fates real quick, uh, you guys let me know if you want to see the double, if you want to see the pin collection. I don't mind either or. And that's it. We're going to call it. So you get a code card for anybody that wants it from Unified Minds in there. Nice. Jimmy D, my look. R.I.P. Uh, laugh a lot. He said he still planned on the McKegg shoutouts. Yes, I do. I definitely do. Like I said, Yizzy just finished it up, and I know Sauce McGavin just said that he is going to uh, do one as well. So I'm going to wait on those videos and then do some shoutouts, right? All right, so I got pin collection. If nobody else says anything else, I'll open up that pin collection. But let's hope for some hidden page luck over here, guys, as we finish up this live. Once again, appreciate every each and one of you that has hung out with me thus far. And hopefully we can blast this uh, live stream with a good pull. But that was not it. Well, come on, Mr. Mewpack. Let's go ahead and get us something fire here. And what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? By the way, I, I got a pack battle video coming out tomorrow. And it's, uh, it's going to be with Just Poking Fun. So you guys stay tuned for that. They are a new channel. Uh, I think like 30, 40 subscribers, so definitely check them out, guys. Oh, uh, nice. Uh, at least we got something. Mewtwo Ultra Rare. So we got something for one of those packs. I will take it. It's definitely better than nothing, though, right, guys? We got plenty of those more of those packs to come. So I do expect to open more in the future. But yeah, definitely take out uh, Just Pokemon. Fun. Definitely check them out. We are doing a pack battle tomorrow, so... Let's see who wins that. And uh, you guys know how my luck is on, on back battles. So here we go. Pen collection for y'all. What can we get from here? Let's just give away the code card like that for anybody that wants it. By the way, have you guys been getting good pulls? If you are collecting the codes right now, any good pulls online? I hope so. Any Charizards maybe? Hopefully my code cards pack some major, major heat. I love these pins, guys. These pins are absolutely freaking awesome. Uh, anything is better than Bill. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> I freaking agree. 
All right, guys, here we go. Champion's Path. Let's get some Charizard vibes in here. Let's get some four-leaf clovers. Let's get some fire. Let's get some hand claps. Let's get some cheers. Whatever you guys want to put in there as we open up these Champion's Path packs from our recent mail that we just received. What do we got? What do we got? Come on. Maybe I need to turn some more hype music on. I think that might have to be the move. Ah! Oh, the infamous Altaria. She, uh... She's been a, a thorn in my side, that's for sure. It's 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 her and the Machamps, right? It's her and the Machamps that typically show up. <laughs> I was trying to find the right word. No Charizards, but I got a Gold Suspicious Futon. Hey, welcome to the party. I got two of those things. So we got a Suspicious Futon gang going on over here. <laughs> Honestly, I do wonder if people have been getting my Zards from the online PTCG code. Yeah, me too. Like, even if somebody pulls the code or gets one, I definitely ask all the time if they got anything. Because I'm very curious myself. Hey, let's go with the pink collection. Nice. So this is my second one, but a full art is better than no art. And I will take that Grappalock V all day, every day. Yeah, I often wonder too. I often wonder too if anybody gets anything good. I usually get no feedback, but it is what it is. As long as somebody's using it, I... I'm definitely happy for them. We got Denise Alley. What's going on, Denise? We're opening up our last Champions Path booster pack. We have had a heck of a mail day. I enjoyed everything I got from everybody. Shout out to anybody who has sent me anything, whether it was a trade, it was a gift, or it was bought. It still means the world to me, and I can't thank you guys any more enoughs. I just want to pack a Zard so I know they exist. <laughs> yeah, dude, they exist. I promise they exist. They're rare, but they exist. Uh, my Matrix, I pulled one too. OTS is a sweet card, but it's sad when you realize it's just a 50 50 shot to get the shiny Zard. Yeah. Hey, look at that. Some Dreadnought action. So that pink collection actually had two out of three packs that were hitters. Bangus. Bangarang. Uh, 43 likes. We got 29 people hanging out. You guys are freaking awesome. I swear. Hanging out for the, for the long run. How long has this live stream been going for? We have been live for an hour and 17 minutes. Hmm. Interesting. Someone pulled a full art hiker from my Hidden Fates Coast. They tagged me in IG. Nice. See, I, that's, what, that's what I'd like to. Like, there has been small, small instances of me getting feedback from my online packs. And I appreciate it when I do get it because, you know, it's fun. It's another fun thing to go ahead and, and learn that somebody done pulled. But, uh, yeah. Guys, I appreciate it. If you are still hanging out and you've sent me something, it means honestly the world to me. Even if I traded it with you, even if I bought it from you, or if it was a gift, it all is still great because no, none of you uh, <laughs> have to respond to a guy like me, to be honest. And uh, it means the world to me when you do, and we make these kind of things happen. One, for great content. Two, for the sake of Pokemon. And three, for just being a great community. So you guys are honestly the best. And I got people saying one more hidden face pack and I'm trying to ignore it. I really, really, really am Toxic Croak. I'm trying to ignore it, man, because I want to save this stuff. But I'll open one more pack. I'll open one more. Just for you, Toxic Croak, because you sent me some fire mail. I'm going to go ahead and open this last pack up. So this will be the last double pack. And I got to save the other ones for a live stream. Because you know my hidden fate stuff is running so thin. Chelsea even said, she's like, you are going to open more than just that one thing. I know she did. And uh, she wasn't wrong. She was wrong. I know how you guys are. And I know peer pressure works. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah. Cool fact, Rob. B-Day is 14. Mine is the 13th. Our goal is to hit 1K on those days. And we are so close. You guys are amazing. I agree. Everyone is freaking amazing. And whether you have a channel, whether you're a PokeTuber, whether you are just a hobbyist, whether you are just tuning in for the first time and checking out some Pokemon content, it means the world to me. And I hope you guys enjoy every step of the way and the path that we are taking. So uh, we can... Oh, come on, Mr. Voltorb. And a Zapdos holographic. Come on, these packs. I know DNA sent me some fire here. I know he did. I know he did. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I lost my track of thought. I forgot what I was saying. I know I was saying something. I just don't remember exactly what. But he said something. Uh, I packed the shiny Zard yesterday in my third ETB. I actually wanted it more than the rainbow one. I wonder if all the shiny Zard centering is a bit off. I actually kind of wanted the shiny Zard V as well. Because... 
it was different and it's the first kind of card they released here before they did in Japanese right so it was that it was that kind of uh, what word am I looking for here guys help me out it was more of that not really nostalgic what is the world that mystery factor right it was that mystery factor of getting that card and what the pull rates were going to be we knew we were going to get that vmax art eventually they released it in japanese we know they were going to release it here whether they said it was a special competitor winning tcg tournaments card whatever we knew we were going to get that but that shawnee's rv that's different and it hits different and it was one of those cards i wanted to as well and i'm glad i pulled that one over anything else uh, good night, guys. I'm out too late in Germany. All right, Lucky Luke. Take it easy, man. I will hit you up probably sometime in the morning uh, with all that stuff. So uh, I'll talk to you then, man. I'll talk to you then, and we'll figure it out. And on the way out, you will see hopefully a Leafeon GX Evolution. Let's go, man. Oh, let's go, guys. Let's get some fire emojis from this. What? We were just talking about Evolutions, and the centering on it is absolutely pristine. Uh, on the back off, it's a little top to bottom. But yeah! Let's freaking go! These packs, man, I'm looking forward to them. We got plenty more of these packs to go, guys. I am definitely looking forward to them. I know it's the end of the live stream, and I know a lot of people aren't going to tune in for this part. I know it's not going to happen. It's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes when you do live streams and you do Pokétube. And, but... I got to share with you guys the ones that have been hanging out from the beginning or even just joining. So, yeah, I will take it. That is a spicy freaking card, and I can't be any happier. Dude, DNA, if you're still in here, man, I appreciate those packs that you sent me because, honestly, this card at a PSA 10, which is very close, it can. I mean, guys, it's, it's fairly close, right? This card right here, if I were to get a PSA 10 on it and sell it, it basically paid for the shipping and the packs I paid for uh to get these so this card alone was worth it and i got to share it with you guys so yeah i don't care that's the end of the stream we still pull some fire at the end and that's all it that matters in the end guys each and every one of you that i see fire emojis toxico we got jay my sister pokeballers toxico poke cards kev what's up dude first time mentioning your name tonight uh odd oddish jd jay poker red collectionista lychee leo uh momo mama matrix guys i appreciate you guys hanging out to the end and if you guys are commenting that's cool too i appreciate you too this was fun and i'm gonna do more mail days at like this as long as i get more mail right and i do see myself getting more mail like this in the future because mail is fun i love mail and i hope you guys too and i do have one more package that i saved uh it is coming from my buddy justin Trey, who you guys see uh in the live stream and it is coming from his daughter and it's going to be a special opening because I have no idea what it is. They sent it to me out of the goodness of their hearts and I'm really looking forward to it and it means the world to me that they did. So I'm going to do a special video for that which is one. why I left that package out of this, this live because it's just one of those things when I get a special package uh, from a special friend and you know a special a special Rob Mob member and fan uh, and his daughter it it. It needs to get a special video. So don't you guys worry. That video is going to be coming out probably this week or early next week. And it's, you know, it's going to be a good one. And uh, I don't know what it is. Some be just as surprised as you do. It's still in the brown box. I don't like to spoil surprises and open it early or anything like that. I just like to open my, like we did today, with all these boxes as we go. Uh, I don't like to pre-open anything. I like to open it live and in your kitchen where there's a video live stream. So... Yeah, a good thing you listened in to Gaming the Peer Pressure. Yeah, because this poll dude was freaking absolutely awesome. If you're just turning in, which I just see, hi, 187, what's going on, dude? Uh, unless you've been in the stream. I, I feel like hi, 187 has been in the stream this whole time. But yeah, we just got that poll. So, dude, guys, you guys are honestly the freaking best. Sudan, you are the best too. Uh, although we're ending up the live stream. Thanks for popping in here at the end. And I will catch you guys, man, on the next one. And get ready for our Pokecast this Saturday. I got Sauce McGavin on there. We're probably going to open a few packs. We're going to talk some Pokemon, maybe speculate on some things. First time he's going to be on the show. So we'll check him out. But that being said, Rob Mob! Until next time, guys, I will catch you later. Peace.